Kelly is no longer the person she was. Her time in prison has changed her. Her faith in God has changed her. Because Kelly is behind bars waiting for her execution, she cannot speak to you herself. So we ask you to listen to the words she has written as we lend our voices to lift her story. It is impossible to put into words the overwhelming sorrow and remorse I feel for my involvement in the murder of my husband, Douglas Gissendanner. There is just no way to capture the depth of my sorrow and regret. I would change everything if I could. I will never understand how I let myself fall into such evil, but I have learned firsthand that no one, not even me, is beyond redemption through God's grace and mercy. Hope is still alive. Despite a gate or a guillotine hovering over my head, I still possess the ability to prove that I am human. Labels on anyone can be notoriously misleading and unforgiving things. But no matter the label attached to me, I have the capacity and the unstoppable desire to accomplish something positive and to have a lasting impact. Even prison cannot erase my hope or conviction that the future is not subtle for me or anyone. I have placed my hope in the God I now know. I rely on the steadfast and never-ending love of God. 